As discussed in the introduction of mechanics, we have seen how the Newton's laws of motion play an important role in understanding the forces acting on a body. Let us see in detail how each law is used in understanding the equilibrium conditions. Equilibrium by definition is a condition in which all the external forces acting on a body are cancelled out, keeping the body in a state of balance. So, all the forces acting on the body should be arranged such that if we add up all the force vectors, they would sum up to give us a total value of zero. Mathematically, it will simply mean that the summation of all forces will be equal to zero. So, as the forces on a body are all nullified by each other, the body will be in a state of balance or specifically in a state of equilibrium. Let's use some mathematical equations to understand this better. According to Newton's second law of motion, a body will accelerate if acted upon by some unbalanced force. This acceleration will be in the same direction as net force. So, if an unbalanced net force is acting on a body, it will tend to an acceleration of the body, which means the body will experience a change in velocity. Mathematically, it can be said that the net force is equal to mass times acceleration. But if the body is in equilibrium, it would mean that the net force acting on body will be zero, making the equation as mass times acceleration equals zero. As mass is a constant term for a body and can never be zero, it would mean that the acceleration will have to be zero. So for a body to stay in equilibrium, either the net force should be zero or as we just saw, the body should not accelerate. But keep in mind that from the above conclusions, it can also be said that a body moving with a constant velocity which has zero acceleration is also known to be in a state of equilibrium. So equilibrium not only includes the bodies at rest but also bodies in a constant velocity. To avoid confusion, the two classifications are used, static and dynamic equilibrium. A body which is at the same position with no movement at all and no forces to act on itself to cause acceleration will be in a state of static equilibrium. Whereas if a body is moving with a constant velocity with no forces to cause acceleration to this motion, then this condition will be called as dynamic equilibrium. We hope that you enjoyed this video lecture. For any doubts, comment in the section below. Thank you.